welcome back to my Geordie Geek sneaker review channel. So you wait forever and there's no reviews and then two turn up in a matter of days. Uh, and that's just the way it goes and the reason for that is because of these. So these have just arrived in my mailbox literally half an hour ago uh, and I'm not going to do a, a standard review of these. I'll do a quick overview now. Um, but actually what I'm going to do, unusually, although I did this the with my... Um, uh, my Nike Vapor Max is I'm going to go for a run in them. So I'm going to go for a little run and I'm going to see what these are actually like as running shoes. Now I'm not going to use them as running shoes. This is the Nike, Nike Epic React by the way. Because uh, this is my normal running shoe. Uh, this filthy Vomero 12 thing here uh, which has got zoom units in it. Uh, that's what I run in. That's what I will continue to run in. But I'm, and I'm going to wear these as like a, a Nike alternative to, um, to my Boost. Um, but I want to have a run in them and see what they're actually like. Uh, I've seen a lot of reviews of these talking about the, the foam, where the foam come from, what Nike did, and yada yada yada. Um, but I want to actually run in them, see what they're actually like. Um, let's give a quick overview though. I, I have worn them around the house for the last half hour. Um, so I've got a quick impression. Uh, they're not as soft as Boost. So Boost is a lot softer than these just walking around the house. They're a little bit firmer. Um, although the sole looks white, it's actually more like an ice blue. Um, a whitey ice blue, uh, which is quite nice, I quite like it. And I bought these ones rather than the white ones and because I'm a member of the Nike club, I could have got the black ones and uh, some other colors. But actually, this is the, this is the color way I prefer completely for these shoes. Um, so they've got the, uh, the Epic React foam on the, on the base uh, and it's just foam which is uncovered all the way around here. So it's uncovered here da -da. and it's, it's quite soft, but it's not as soft as Boost. Um, but we'll see what's like in a run because I don't like running on Boost. I find Boost too soft to run on, to be honest. Um, it has a pad on the front and back, and I've seen quite a few reviews that say this wears quite quickly. Um, like I said, I'm not actually going to run on these full time as I, you know, I've got the Vomeros to do that, and you can see that as a proper you know, big difference there between a proper running shoe and a fashion running shoe. Um, but let's, let's see, uh, and I'll give you a, an update of those. Um, we've got a yellow heel tab at the back. Now you need this heel tab because this is quite a small opening, as I found. So when you're putting your shoe on, uh, you do actually need to undo the laces uh, um, and pull them you know, loose a bit um, because that's quite a small opening to get your foot in and you do need to pull quite hard. And I think that's probably to try and make sure it moulds around the foot better um, and moulds around the back here um, because this is quite a soft heel support. Uh, we'll find out what that's like when I'm running, but it's a fairly softish heel support on the back there. Um, it's got a bit of uh, M3 on the back, uh, and that's it. That's the only M3 on this whole shoe. Um, whereas for my Vomeros, uh, although you can't see it, this and you can just see it on the camera there, this whole back piece here is M3. So uh, when I'm running on a sort of uh, dusk or, uh, apologies for how filthy these are, when I'm running in the dust, this shines up like a, like a torch. Uh, for these, it's going to be this little tiny tab on the back there. Um, it is a, I don't know what it's called because I can't remember which one's flying it, whether it's Adidas or this one, but it's like a knitted upper um, and, it's, and, and a bit like the, um, the Vapor Maxes, it's very, very tight. Uh, it's much tighter than, um, than the, the, the knitted upper on, a, on an Adidas, uh, much, much tighter. And that might be again for the runners among us and we'll see what that's like when it's on. I actually found the Vapor Max and if you look back, uh, I did do a running review on my Vapor Max. I found the Vapor Max a bit tight. Um, but also you're meant to wait a couple of weeks for the Vapor Max to, to break in, uh, which I've never really done. I've probably worn them for a week at the most, to be honest, and they're back in a box downstairs because um, UK weather, I can tell you, is not weather for Vapor Maxes. Um, and again, this is, you know, we're sort of the back end of winter coming into spring here in the UK, back at uh, the end of February here. So the weather's still a bit cold, it's still a bit snowy. Um, so not much else to say about it really. It's it's a great looking shoe. Um, I really, really got it. I got it with a nice 10% discount thanks to my daughter who's a student uh, from the online Nike store. They're reasonably well sold out now, but this is gonna be a major um, restock item, so don't worry too much about it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and get changed into my running gear. Uh, I'll do a couple of little video snippets as I'm on my run. I don't normally carry my phone on my run because I like to have a clearer head. Uh, when I'm running. So I'm going to take a few video snippets while I'm out on my run uh, and then we'll do a quick roundup when I get back. So um, quick cut to me in my super slinky running gear. Okay so here I am all ready to go for a run. 
Uh, I tend to run in all Nike kit. I've tried Nike and Adidas, but I, find, I tend to find the Nike much more comfortable. Um, this is the UK and it's the end of February, so it's running at around about with a wind chill factor, minus two, minus three. So I've got a body warmer on and this keeps me highly visible on a night time uh, and dusk as it's getting out there or will be in about half an hour. Uh, I'm only gonna go for a four mile run. Uh, I've changed into my Fenix 3 running watch because Apple Watch is absolute garbage for running. Uh, I've got this sort of nice, super thick um, sort of running top from uh, Nike, uh, which is really good for the weather, means I don't have to wear two tops. Uh, some you know fairly thick Nike bottoms, and as you can see, I've got the Epic Reacts on my feet ready to go. And you can see the Epic Reacts on my feet. I've got the yellow socks on because it again keeps me safe. Uh, but we can see how they look, and I actually managed to get them on without having to undo the laces and sort of did them on afterwards. So you can get them on at a push. Uh, but not quite as easy as the Adidas. So there you go, that's them on foot. And now let's get out there. Let's do three and a half, four miles. Uh, I'll stop every couple of miles, give a quick update, uh, and then we'll have a, a quick roundup at the end. So see you out on the road. Okay, so I'm a mile and a half in. Uh, there's a few cars around, so I'm gonna talk a bit louder. Uh, just a quick view of the English countryside. Um, I'm not actually running through the countryside, I'm running on this stuff. Um, but you can see how gorgeous it is. Usually this summer day you get a nice sunset, uh, not today, usual grey clouds, but you can see where the sun would be squeezing through just a bit. Um, let's have a look at these sneakers. Okay, you can see it is cold, so I've got my silly little uh, hat on. Um, and like I said, it's probably running about minus two at the minute. Um, but so far, um, mile point, 1.6 miles in, I've uh, been really impressed. Um, uh, I've ran slightly faster than the first mile, the first mile is uphill. I usually do it in 9.15. Anecdotally, I did 9.30, um, 9.12, so three seconds faster. I didn't feel like I was running any quicker, so that's quite a good pace for me. Um, but let's have a quick look at the sneakers, and I'll let you know what I think of some of the options. And like I said, I'm really impressed, 1.6 in, uh, much better than the Vapormax we're running in. Uh, let's have a quick look. So a couple of things to point out on the shoe. Um, first of all, these bases are quite wide, uh, and actually that's been really good for going around corners. So going around the corner with these, you, you feel it, you feel the extra wide base uh, and it really seems to be helping. This, this upper is amazing, it's um, really comfortable, it's going to need zero breaking in, you can feel that straight off the bat uh, and it's super comfy and like I said the, the Vapormax one wasn't, wasn't comfy at all. Uh, it took about two miles into a run before it got comfy uh, and here I am from the off and this one's just spot on, uh, super comfy. I mean you probably could do without laces to be honest, I, they're probably more... Um, for fun uh, you know for, for visibility rather than function uh, like I said this this is not great for the time of year that I'm running in uh, the heel cup's been uh, no issues at all it's, as you go around a corner you can feel the, the base cutting in and you can feel the, the heel cup cupping you um, I'm a heel runner so I tend to run on the heel of the of the shoe uh, this has been perfect for me um, I don't know if you can see the underneath you can see where it's just going to get dirty from running uh, you can see my pressure points actually here and here uh, as, I, as I go to the back and move to, move to the front. So don't expect these to stay clean on the bottom, uh, expect them to wear fairly quickly. Right, so that's me there. I'm going to finish off the rest of this run. I've got another uh, two miles to run before I get back home. Uh, and then we'll have a quick wrap up um, from my sofa. See you in a minute. Right, that's me back. 3.8 miles done. Uh, I can tell you, look at my watch. That's the fastest 3.8 I've done in the cold weather. So let's get back inside uh, and let's see what I think of these shoes. Whew. It's cold out there. Right, so fresh from the run, you can see I'm still sweating, so I wanted to get it all out while it's still in my head. Uh, here we go, uh, a 3.8 mile run in these uh, Epic React, the Nike, the new brand new Nikes. Now, before I go into what I think of these, let me just show you what I normally run in a game. Uh, so this is these. Um, so this is the, I keep forgetting the name, the Zoom Vomero 12s. Now these are a comfy shoe and these are a long distance shoe. Uh, you can see from the sole these will last a long time, but they're not a responsive shoe. Um, they're dead, they feel dead when you're running in them. You know, the sole feels a bit dead. Uh, I don't care what they say about the Zoom units or whatever. Um, these feel dead when you run in them, but they're, they're great just for plodding along the, the streets and that's what I use them for. Um, I have run in these before and, uh, and there was a review, I'll stick it down here I think. Um, uh, so these are the Vapor Maxes and these you know mixed feelings the, this is very uncomfortable for about the first two miles and the sole does come alive but it doesn't come alive until about three miles in 
uh, and I'm really worried, as you can see from the base of these, how long this would actually last. Uh, a pair of running shoes should last you around about 500 miles, um, and these will last me 500 and beyond. Uh, I have run in these, which is the um, the Adidas, um, and you know they they're comfy. This is a very similar upper to to the Nike, um, and these are, these are soft, so the the um, you know the the boost is soft, but I wouldn't say it is responsive. So you know if you feel better on the knees, and as you get older, like I am, uh, you need a bit of cushioning for the knees. Um, but these are not you know there's no bounce back on these. It's just it's soft. And then by the time your feet's gone, it, it, that's it. So this is not, a, I wouldn't say it's a responsive shoe per se. Now, let's have a look at these. Now I was, I wasn't prepared to be impressed by these at all. I mean, I thought this is a, you know, the fashion shoe and I'm sure that's what the majority of reviews that you see will be about. This has been a fashion review and they'll not be talking about it running. In fact, all the reviews I've seen from Foamy and other guys are all about the, the fashion element of this. Um, this is a running shoe. This is an actual running shoe. Now. This will not last you 500 miles. I mean, you know, and I think this is one of the major issues with it. Um, excuse the sweat on my forehead. Uh, I think this is one of the major issues with it. So you should get 500 miles out of a pair of shoes. And most runners, I mean, I run 20 miles a week uh, over about four or five days. Um, and that means uh, I'd have to get a new pair of these every 10 weeks. Because um, I reckon you'll get about 200 miles out of that sole before this starts to, to wear and, and this starts to give in. So I'm not prepared to buy four to five pairs of these shoes at 130 quid a pop, uh, or 116 if you get a discount from your daughter. Um, I'm not prepared to buy four to five pairs of shoes, uh, running shoes a year. This is the major drawback with these. Um, this, this really needs, if I pick up my, my Adidas, it needs a more responsive uh, or a more um, you know, hard wearing sole like this. This is just not gonna, gonna cut it for a, a proper runner. Uh, now, if you don't have to pay for your own shoes, then by all means, this is going to be a great running shoe. Um, so all that aside, um, you know, the, uh, the reality of, of having to buy four to five pairs of these a year, um, it's a great, great shoe. I was really impressed. Um, I could feel the responsiveness. You've seen the adverts of these and it's got it, you know, it's coming off a, um, you know, off a trampoline. And that's what it feels like. It actually feels like you, your foot is being pushed back up again. Now, I did the fastest 3.8 miles there I've ever done. Uh, I haven't checked my times yet, but it was pretty quick, 32 minutes. And um, I'm, I stopped in the middle, obviously, for a, a couple of minutes to, to record a bit of VT for this. But that's still my best time. Um, and that's pretty impressive to, to get that. Um, as I said on the run, you, you can see these are quite a wide back end. Uh, not as wide as actually some of these Adidas are. Um, uh, and more the, the pure boost. Um, but it's, it's really responsive. You can feel it when you go around corners, uh, when you're doing the chicanes. Now, I will say in the chicanes that this heel feels a little bit low. I, I, I think I would prefer this to be a, a little bit harder, but it's, I think it's okay. I mean, if you're running around a running track, it's fine. Uh, and it's only on the chicanes. On the, on the flat, it's really, really comfy. This, this top element, the, the, um, the knitted top, it's super, super comfy. It's tight, um, but it's perfect for running. Um, it's super comfortable. Uh, no issues at all. Uh, you can see your socks through it, so uh, it's obviously going to be nice and uh, airy for the summer, so nice, uh, nice and cooling on your feet. Uh, like I said, you've got the pull tab and this fairly rubbish um, you know, M3 reaction on the back. Um, but really, really impressive. Uh, I, could, I could feel the, uh, the benefits of this. I, uh, I believe the hype, actually. You, know, you say, don't believe the hype, but this is a really, really good running shoe, and I, I, you know, I heartily recommend it. I'm not going to run in it. I can't afford to buy four to five pairs of these a year, um, but I might do the odd run in them, might mix it up a little bit. Um, I'm definitely going to wear them as a as a comfy fashion shoe because they're super comfy on. Uh, quick word on the sizing: uh, go take these true to size. Uh, someone said online to take yourself half a size down on these. Uh, maybe you can do that if you're wearing this as a fashion shoe. But if you're actually going to run in it, take it true to size. Your feet will swell. Uh, I'm a size 11 UK. Uh, I take an 11 in Adidas. Uh, you, I can take between a 10 and a half and 11 uh, in Nikes. Uh, and you know, so Air Jordan ones, I'll go down to a, to a 10 and a half. Uh, and uh, you know, even the Mars Yards or the Lupin X uh, 10.5 is probably good enough for me. But on these, take your take your, your Adidas size. Let's call it that. Your size, you know, size 11, true to size. Uh, don't go down, uh, and especially if you're running. Um, so, heartily recommend. Do believe the hype. This is a great shoe. This is the Nike Epic React 
uh, brand new out. I just received it in the post today. I got it uh, on release day, so um, this will be one of the first UK reviews unless you went and bought it in the shop, and I've had to wait four days for the postage. Um, but great shoe. So that's me, Jordi Geek over and out. Um, uh, I think probably this corner, but it might be that, so I want to point at both. So uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do little funny trainer reviews uh, every so often. Um, Here's the, uh, the review, and it's going to be one of these corners because I can never work out which one it is, uh, of the, uh, me running in these, uh, just for your perusal. Uh, and you can also follow me on Instagram. So uh, I'm actually Geordie Kicks, K-I-C-K-S, Geordie Kicks on Instagram. Uh, so follow me over there and you'll see the odd silly picture of my trainers uh, and very few pictures of me. So I'm sure you'd be relieved to hear that. Geordie Geek, over and out. See you later.